like one of the the biggest uh kind of pushback in praying in tongues is as you're praying holy spirit is he he deals with you first before he starts dealing with your outward circumstances so what he's going to do is he's going to start dealing with your junk he's going to start trying to to chop off to purge parts of you that are not of him and so a lot of people they come in especially people that struggle with lust people that watch porn they're usually the first to go and the reason this is is because as they're praying in tongues praying in tongues that lust and that desire will start to the desire to watch porn and things will start to rise and they will think it's an attack from the enemy they'll think oh like this lust is coming at me and it's actually not it's holy spirit bringing it up so that you can get rid of it because if we if we bury things and just overcome them by will our will will eventually break so the only way to remove temptation is to bring it up and deal with it to chop it you know put the axe to the root to get rid of it you need to get rid of it for good you can't just bury it and holy spirit wants to do this if you keep praying in tongues uh you're gonna naturally do it whether you like it or not um (laughs) So that's kind of the first thing that people face is their flesh kind of rising up against them to stop them uh, from praying. Like when it comes when we stop praying, like I was mentioning earlier, it's so hard when our flesh starts to take Mm. over and, you know, we don't know how to handle that and, you know, we fall back into old patterns, fall back into old ways and then to climb back out of that again, it's just, it makes it so hard. It really does take a toll. And then it's so much easier the next time to give up because you've mm. already fallen once before. So the next time you're trying to get back up that mountain, but you, you face the same thing and you're praying, you're praying, you're praying, it comes up again. But you've already fallen before and you know it's easier just to fall back in your pit in the mire and not have to deal with stuff than it is just to keep praying through it. So a lot of mm. people stop praying for this reason. And it, it breaks my heart because usually when it's the hardest point in your life when you're praying like when it's the you're at the pinnacle that's when you're about to receive your breakthrough Mm. and a lot of people just they stop it when they're so so close to hitting that breakthrough and they have no idea Mm. Uh, and then they're so exhausted that next time they it comes to it again you know they don't want to do it they don't want to go over that hurdle it's just it's so heartbreaking because they just don't understand it Mm. yeah you'll definitely have to face the bad parts of you the more you pray they will get Mm. brought up and a couple of times like i've had some strange experiences praying in tongues um where like i've been praying in tongues and i have felt like a wall is like here like literally like a physical wall has been in front of me and what it was was something bad about me like i remember the first time from that 21 days my pride rised up and god showed me that i have pride And that pride was that I thought I could do this without God. Like he, that was so evident and in my face that every time I started to pray in tongues, it was like, boom, it would like hit me and be like, Mm. God just kept showing me that I had this pride because I was like, I will pray in tongues. I will build in power. I will save people. I will do all this. And God was showing that is my mentality and mm, like the yeah. the truth is i can't do anything like it's all god it, the 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 fact that we have tongues to pray it's it's god's grace it's all god's grace so Amen. he showed me my wrong mentality and i had to face that and you know it was so so simple all i said was holy spirit i acknowledge that this is a part of me i don't want it anymore and i give this to you and then just yeah. like that he took it yeah and so that was that's gone like that pride that i had was taken completely yeah. and that's that's how we need to overcome the things of the flesh god will dig them up 
and then we need to deal with it. But a lot of times, especially when, when the porn thing, the lust thing is brought up, instead of dealing with it, people will think about it so much, they'll meditate on it and yes. then they'll end up falling in the act of watching it. So they'll fall back into that sin. And then obviously condemnation comes in, they'll take a week off praying, then they'll come back two weeks later, start praying again, they'll pray hard for another two weeks and then it'll come up again and they'll fall into yeah. it again. And they're just in this cycle of never growing because they keep falling back to the flesh rather than just dealing with it completely, just giving it to God, you know? Yeah. The, the most powerful things I've had is just acknowledging that it's a part of me, saying I don't want it and just giving it to Him. And it, mm. it's so powerful. Um, but yeah, that's the, the main thing is why people will stop. And, you know, the, the book by Dave Robeson is so good. Like if you want an in-depth yes. book on tongues, like, this is Dave Robeson's life on praying in tongues. In, and a lot of seasons, he would do seven or eight hours a day for, you know, three months on end, if not longer. He doesn't give you exact times, but he prayed for years and years and years and years in tongues every day, long hours. And so he has true, deep revelation of tongues. And it's all his experiences, what God showed him. And everything that we're listing, like he talks about in depth, especially the impasses that just before you hit a breakthrough, something will rise up against you. Normally some part of your flesh and that you need to deal with. Um, mm. And then after that, yeah. you get a breakthrough for a while. 